celebrated the fact that we uh, managed to beat Nigeria in Nigeria 2-0. Uh, it could so easily have been 5-0. Uh, two of the balls against the bar were very, very close. And then there was the, the cry for a penalty when uh, Keegan Dolly was brought down in the box. But this is football. You win by the margin of the balls that actually went into the, the goal. And, and so the score is 2-0. No. But if you look back uh, over the last few years, in our matches against Nigeria, we played two draws and now we managed a 2 0 defeat of Nigeria. Um, and it could have been so much different when uh, uh, Ranti scored uh, against Nigeria in the first match in Oyo, where we played a draw 2 2. Uh, so I think the, uh, uh, this history of uh, playing against Nigeria, I think it's gone for the current players. And I think uh, they gave a very comfortable performance uh, away. And that is a significant first match for our qualification for uh, 2019 AFCON. Because now we must play uh, Libya at home. Uh, we then uh, play uh, Seychelles, and if we win those matches, um, then we have a foot in the door uh, and the 2019 qualifications. Uh, we must also not forget that our under-17 team qualified for the World Cup, our under-20 team qualified for the World Cup, our under-23 team qualified for the Olympics in Rio, uh, and these are the players that's coming through. Uh, and therefore, there is a, a new era, a new dawn for South African football, not just at the level of Bafana and our uh, junior men's team, but also our women's team. Uh, Banyana qualified uh, for the Olympics, also in Rio, uh, qualified for two consecutive uh, African Cup of Nations in 2014 and 16, uh, and now is starting the program for qualification for the 2019 uh, Women's World Cup. Bafana, of course, is also on track for the 2018 uh, World Cup in Russia, and I think we have a good chance because if we get a uh, home and away victory against uh, Cape Verde, we'll be on 10 points, then we play uh, Burkina Faso at home, and then the last match away against Senegal. Uh, by then, I'm sure things would have been clear uh, as to <coughs> the prospects of our team getting to, to Russia uh, in 2018. So overall, I think uh, things look uh, very good. Uh, and this is the result of hard work at grassroots level. Uh, last week we were in Kuruman, and there we saw two extraordinary players. One player was a goalkeeper, was immediately called up uh, by uh, Molefe in Czechy to come to the national team. Uh, and then two other players, a 12-year-old kid, uh, was just amazing. Um, and our agreement with the La Liga creates opportunity for talented young South Africans to be placed with uh, the Spanish teams. Uh, and these are world-class teams. So I hope uh, one or two of those players can, can get the opportunity to go and train with the best uh, clubs in the world. Uh, and this is going to be a miracle for those boys who come from Kuruman and Katu. Uh, I think very few people even know that there is a place called Katu. Uh, and now those boys uh, will be the heroes uh, in those communities. And this is what football can do, is to create opportunities for talented young South African and also the point that is made is that they come from all over our country. Um, Rivado could see it comes from Kakamas, come from uh, the Northern Cape uh, and, and now we have another three players from those areas. It means that uh, we have to look all over for young talented players and I'm very happy that former players like Stanton Fredericks, like Arte Zwane, uh, uh, like uh, the uh, Malefi and Tseki uh, <clears throat> came uh, from those areas 
uh, and to look for, for, for talent. Uh, and we must pay credit to them too for spending three days uh, there with the people of the Northwest. Uh, I'm very happy. But that is the basis on which we want to build our national teams. Uh, we now have to support uh, Banyana. Uh, also, we must get the under-20 uh, women's team because they start their World Cup qualifications. Um, and we have them uh, in our uh, center of excellence uh, in the high performance center in Pretoria. Uh, and uh, we are hopeful that both the under-20 women's team and the Banyana team will qualify uh, 